Hey, what's going on, my friend? It's Jeff Newpert from ChasingStrength.com. And in today's video, we are going to discuss what you can do if you're not seeing much of a difference on the scale or in the tape measure from your kettlebell workouts. All right. So here's why that happens. Some guys and even some ladies I've worked with get confused and frustrated with their kettlebell workouts. And that's because even though they see some increase in the numbers in their training logs, right, the amount of work they can do is actually increasing they're not really seeing any changes in their appearances per se, right? So they're not seeing anything change in the mirror and their clothes are still fitting the same. So, you know, sometimes they see more muscular shoulders and sometimes they see more muscular arms and sometimes having an upper back that's more muscular is pretty cool, right? Like the yoke, the traps. But let's face it, when the belly still hangs over the belt when you sit down, it's really just a reminder that things still aren't the way they should be, right? So why does that happen, right? And more importantly, if that's currently happening to you now, what can or should you do about it to start seeing changes, all right? So let's dive in here. First, why does that actually happen? Well, for most, it's pretty simple. Number one, there's actually no net decrease in calorie input, so your body doesn't have to give up any of its fat stores. Number two, you're not recovering enough between or from training sessions. So it actually is possible that circulating cortisol levels are high and higher than normal, which research shows contributes to the formation of actual new stomach fat cells. All right, and we know that's not what we're looking for here. And number three, Let's face it, sometimes you're just not working as hard as you think you are. Uh, of course, that's probably not you. It's probably your friend, right? You know what I'm talking about. Okay, now, second, what do you do or what can you do about this, okay? So number one is to actually just take ownership. Now, depending on your worldview, things either happen to you or they happen for you. Now, I prefer to view life through the latter lens. So in order to decrease stress, if you haven't done so already, I recommend you do the same. All right, number two, recalibrate your vision. So as a result, you now see this as an opportunity to fine tune your vision, identify behaviors that are no longer serving you and are actually keeping you from realizing that vision. For example, the idea of recomping or losing fat, getting stronger and building muscle all in the same training program with minimum focus on nutrition is super appealing to many guys, if not most, all right? But the truth is, and unfortunately, if this is a truth, that recomping may not actually be a strategy that works for you, especially if you're not seeing any change in the stomach fat area, and that's one of your problem areas, okay? So here are some other examples that don't serve many guys. So one example is drinking beer at night after work in front of the TV to unwind, right? Another example is eating whatever you want because you work out. Another example is going to bed early, but staying up late watching YouTube podcasts or other such stuff on your tablet or smartphone. All right. So number three, create new behaviors. Now, once you've identified the behaviors keeping you from achieving your vision, it's time to replace them with new ones that close the gap between your vision and your current reality. So for example, using our three examples before, you replace the beer, the post-work beer with a post-work walk. Uh, number two is the number two example, right? Is you prioritize protein and eat that at every meal instead of eating what you want because you work out. And number three, you actually turn your phone off and you leave it outside of your bedroom, right? Downstairs on the kitchen table, uh, in your office, whatever. And you use an old fashioned alarm clock instead of the one on your phone to wake you up in the morning. All right. Number four, this is a tough one. This is a tough pill for some guys to swallow. And that is you may actually just need to work harder, right? Some guys work out with their smartphone and it becomes a, strac a distraction, excuse me. So they're busy checking email, they're checking news sites, they're on the book of faces and Twitter and all that nonsense. And before you know it, there's 10 minutes between sets. And some guys through no fault of their own, have just never been shown what hard work actually looks like. So in that case, a program with a strict work rest period may be a better choice for both groups, okay? So third, here's what to do next, okay? My recommendation here is super simple and probably not highly popular, okay? And that is to go all in, all right? Let me say that again. You go all in. You do whatever it takes. You determine, that from this point on, you are going to acquire the necessary skills to make your vision a reality, all right? So for example, you're going to learn how to use what I call supportive nutrition 
And that is actually eating the right foods at the right times in the right amounts to create a fat burning environment inside of your body instead of what you're currently eating, which creates a fat storing environment inside of your body. Number two is you are going to challenge yourself to work harder if and when you need to. And number three, you're actually going to rest when you're supposed to rest. And uh, if you work harder than you have been, this part will actually be pretty easy for you. So if you need resources or a resource to make all this happen, I'll leave a link to one of my best 16-week programs in the description below. That way, you've at least got the next four months covered and you don't have to figure this stuff out for yourself, okay? And last thing, look, I apologize in advance because if you're like most guys who have used the program with the link in the description, you're going to have to end up buying new pants and maybe even new shirts because your waist will get smaller and your upper body will become more muscular, all right? So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, click the like button, smash the subscribe button, leave me a comment in the comment section below. And if you found this video particularly helpful, share it with a friend. Until next time, my friend, stay strong.